Welcome Virgos. This is going to be the forensic, get, get ready, forensic Mercury retrograde heart spread where we're going to go back and examine that person that just can't get out of your head using the Gilded Tarot Classic. My favorite and oldest deck that I have. Um, so this is not meant to be someone that you're really engaged in any kind of relationship with them. Maybe a regular old heart spread. Um, this is that person, excuse me. <coughs> I'm still getting over this uh, cold. This would be the person that, you know, you could be single, you could be with someone, you could be really in love, and that's and it's a lock. But maybe there's still this person that you can't quite get out of your mind, you know, you keep going back and thinking of them. Because um, there's something unresolved there. You know, uh, or it could just be that person that did every Mercury retrograde. That's where you're like, oh shit, it's Mercury retrograde, and you you uh, write uh, postings to them, and a uh, finger hovers over send, you know, for two days, and, and maybe you don't send it, but you're thinking of them, you know. All right, once you engage them, kind of becomes the heart spread. The same, the magic work. Don't ask me. Tarot works. It's crazy, crazy stuff. All right. Yeah, I'm not the best shuffler. All right. So one more time. I want to do this. Four our Virgos. Heart spread looks at normally you and your person you're thinking of. So how the relationship's going. Um, here, it's just going to be looking back at this purely theoretical, we'll call it, uh, person that's a... Uh, Stuck in your craw, guys. Okay, Virgo. Five of Cups. I used to go back now uh, to kind of how this relationship had started. So what, this was a relationship that started when you were down and out. You might have been about another relationship, um, very most likely. Um, and this person came in, and I'd see them like put, they come up behind you here, and they put their hand on your shoulder, and they're like, I'm here for you. And they were nothing insincere about it. That's how this relationship started, if this is your reading. Something very much like that. I don't want to do the bottom. Thank you, Spirit. So, Virgo, this is your person now. King of Cups, uh, water energy. Cancer mostly comes to mind. Um, it could be Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces energy. Uh, significant, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in their charts, we're thinking, Virgo. And... Um, no wonder that they are sensitive to you, this Five of Cups, you know. They're this kind of person, you know, they would be very sensitive to feelings, very tuned to feelings. Um, and, you know, they, they um, you would perceive them very well here. Yeah. Let me see. I'll tell you how you would perceive them. It's going to be here. Nine of Swords. Wow. I think what happens when you're with this person as they engage you, and you fully have to engage what's brought you to your knees with this other person, um, which is really probably looking at infidelity thoughts um, and keeping you up all night. And it's like these things you didn't really want to see. It's like they basically have maybe just broken up with you or um, fought with you, a terrible fight with you, and brought you to your knees, and you're so upset, and this person's kind of like, there for you and consoling emotionally there for you your person's not and this person here is really making you think about now um, what went on um, probably what your person did to you you're beginning for the first time here um, Virgos to uh, really process it in the details Virgo uh, you know um, like maybe you knew there was another person involved, but you hadn't like thought through uh, into there's I've been there is things you don't want to see in your head ever. And you do. And that's five swords, four swords. Now, this is how your person would be feeling towards you as well. Um, healing. This is a little bit unusual the way I'm feeling about this, but this is a time here to this. Um, I think your person here held space for you. I don't know yet that there was any consummation, 
So you would be thinking about a person um, that was very emotionally available, emotionally uh, uh, um, attuned to you, uh, sensitive to you, um, someone that you felt maybe really understand you, uh, understood you, someone you felt uh, you could really open up and talk to um, about what hurt you. But there's something about the relationship itself with you. It was all about healing your pain from this past relationship and what was done to you. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Now, this is your advice from spirit uh, towards this person that's haunting you, that's on your mind. And that's to keep in mind uh, who and what you are, which is the empress, um, meaning you're enough. You know, you don't need anything from this other person. Um, and you can be grounded and whole in yourself. It's kind of the theme of these readings. Soccer, I mean, that's just how it is in general. Uh, when we're thinking about these relationships that didn't happen, the main thing with Mercury Retrograde is not to get back with them, but to figure out why they didn't happen. How can we grow? What's the lessons there? And this could be a little bit of the nice guy syndrome. Uh, not saying it was a guy, a guy, girl, but where you were picking people, uh, Virgo, that um, were not nice. Um, and then when someone came along and they put their hand on their shoulder and said, they're there and they're a king, you know, king of cups. I mean, this is nothing to, uh, you know, take lightly. It's not a person that you might want to take lightly necessarily. Um, you don't uh, seem to have interest in them, and your interest in them is in healing, really you, uh, as if you're, uh, the way you uh, energetically react with them, as as if they are your healer, and literally, like, not as if they are your lover, okay, eight of pentacles, now this is normally advice for your person and towards you, um, this person, I don't believe someone that was going to be cross-watching this kind of theoretic relationship in your mind. Um, so um, the advice here, this is the best worker card, the great worker card here. It's always positive. Um, boy, combined with the Empress, this is nothing but solid. You know, here you have water and swords, thoughts and emotions, thoughts and emotions. And this is here is about really grounding yourself and focusing on what's important in your life and all the basic things now, especially with the Eight of Pentacles, that's brushing your teeth, cleaning the house, exercising, getting to work on time, paying the bills, uh, following your budget, saving a little money for a rainy day, all of that kind of stuff with the Eight of Pentacles. This is your advice. You notice how high vibe your advice is, the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, your core advice for the overall energy of the reading uh, is the Four of Pentacles. The overall energy of what's going on here as a whole is the Four of Pentacles. You know, and, come in, and then look more Pentacles. Come in between the Empress and, and the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this is, I always say you can't really hug anyone if you're holding on to all your Pentacles like this. You know, your energy is kind of closed off. It's also the energy of saving money and not spending um, being, being uptight, you know, being a tight ass, you could say, but this is with pinnacles, it becomes pretty strong, pretty solid, but here being advice from spirit, um, it's saying to, this is the very crucible of the heart spread, is to be very solid in yourself, and it's really saying, do not give yourself away, like you're, what you have is hard earned, hard earned, and you became the empress the hard way, you know, you weren't like born into this with a silver spoon. And now this clearly saying, it's okay to hold on to what you have, you know. Hmm. Just a second here with the Eight of Swords being the, uh, Ace of Swords being the outcome. So the Ace of Swords outcome, a lot of swords here. You got three swords. You know, the Empress is not pinnacle, but it's Taurus. It's uh, solid as you can get. So you have Earth, and then up top here, you have Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Swords. And this is your outcome. You know, 
The Ace of Swords is setting a strong boundary or um, it can be um, making a strong commitment. Um, it can be making a strong statement. Um, I think that this is something in writing that you do uh, to release this person here uh, because this is not someone's conceived to be in your uh, life right now. Um, and I think it's like you may have some feeling with them like they're the one that got away because they were the only one that ever really loved you or they were the only one that ever really understood you. And maybe you've been through life and you think, well, there's no one like understood me like this person. I can tell you there's a little mom energy in here too. They were maybe like the mom you never had or like the mom you did have. Your mom was good, but there was someone that you felt really safe with, you know, stuff going on in astrology with that, you know, but kind of what this is saying is you need to be safe and in, in you're strong in yourself, you know. Um, and so I think by understanding that with this Ace of Swords is then also taking conscious control. Also, the Ace of Swords can be magic, can be, you know, like I say, declarations, um, that you make, um, boundaries that you draw. This can be manifestation, Ace of Swords, a strong statement that you create and you draw, you draw it out and you use it, you know, you swipe it through the air, you, you feel it hiss through the air, the reality of it, your words. That's kind of what I feel is the outcome of this here. And somehow I think it'll be very powerful and, and help you. Or you just write it. You don't even have to send it to anyone. Just write it down and burn it. You know, say it out loud. Read it out loud. Get a witness if you have someone you trust like that. That goes a long way. You can have someone witness with you. So thank you guys. And let me know what you think of that. Appreciate thumbs up, all that stuff. Share. And uh, thank you for subscribing.